Well, howdy folks. Welcome back to my channel and what's left of the studio. As you can see, most of the instruments are packed up. These that are up here are just because I don't have cases for them, so I gotta figure out what to do, them, do with them so they don't get damaged. But the point is the studio is starting to get really into boxes. So uh, I'm getting ready to pack up the mixer and I had a thought. Uh, there's been a trend on YouTube over these past several years called no input mixing. Some of you might have seen these videos, but what it is is you make music or sounds with nothing but your mixer, no instruments whatsoever. And so I thought before I pack this up, that's the perfect time to try it. So over here I've got some cables that I haven't packed up yet, various uh, different types of cables, and I've also got my reverb pedal that hasn't been packed up yet. What no input mixing is, if you haven't seen some of the videos that are out there, is effectively you take the outputs on your mixer and you plug them into the inputs on your mixer and you try to get feedback loops building. And those feedback loops, when you start to tweak the equalizers and stuff, they start to turn into, you know, musically pleasing sounds. So that's what I'm going to try today. No input mixing. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so here you see our setup, and I realize it's probably hard to decode where all these wires are going. But this here is the headphone out, which I'm splitting, and half of the headphone out is going to uh, the effects return, and the other half is going to channel three. And then this is the control room out, and half of the control room out is going to channel one, while the other half is going to the other side of the effects return. Over here, I've taken the main out and sent that into a reverb pedal, and then this is going over to, or excuse me, that's the input. This side's going over to my audio interface so you can hear it. Okay, then these other cables here, I'm not sure if they're doing anything or not, but hey, they are there. What you notice is right now you don't really hear anything because everything is in a stable state. But as soon as I start turning the send and returns, we should start to hear, there we go. We should start to hear some sounds. Now I'm going to turn that up just a little for right now. It might get loud on us. Okay, and then if we turn one of the others, there we go. And what's interesting about this no input mixing is a very small tweak. It's just a, see that? I'm just barely moving that knob and you start to introduce a new sound. And all I've done so far is just barely tweak these aux sends. And then of course I can tweak the levels on the actual channels. And I can tweak the control room level. And the main level. And you start to get madness going on. Now, this isn't that musical yet because it just kind of sounds like feedback, though it is really interesting. Well, let's kick in the reverb. Oh my gosh. Oh, that just became magical. Oh. Okay, this is why people like this. Okay, now another thing, I have not messed with any of the um, EQs yet, so let's see what happens if we start to tweak those. Oh, oh my gosh. So now we can start to control more of the timbres. <laughs> that is crazy. There is no sound source here, guys. This is just the mixer doing it to itself.
Holy crap, that was insane. Who would have thought you could make music with no inputs? Okay, well, that was certainly a lot of fun. Who would have thought that a mixer could uh, make music on its own, or at least musical sound? As you can tell, the studio is in its sort of final days. I'm sure the last thing I'll pack up will be the computer, but, um, you know, life is in boxes right now. If you like what I do on this channel and you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button for me. And if you like this video or you like the last seven years from the studio, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon.